All right. Um, I wanted to start off the week. Excuse me, I just finished my workout, drinking my shake. Um, talking about where I am in my process and how it can relate to you. This past week was was probably my toughest week so far in my in my rehab, my comeback. Uh, you know, besides the first two weeks. It was the first week that emotionally I got pretty down on myself. And uh, I felt like I needed an emotional outlet, but I kept fighting that. You know, the man mentality, don't don't cry or whatever. And that started affecting my physical performance and, and started making me have a bad, you know, go down the wrong path. And after PT Saturday, we still got, uh, I mean, the pain was excruciating. Again, I can deal with the pain. I had an emotional breakdown right after the last leg bend. Um, you know, it all just kind of came out. I felt better afterwards, though. And last night, you know, I still had some more to get out, so um, I'm not ashamed to say that I cried. And, you know, not for the pain, you know, just kind of, I needed to do it. This is a long, I'm in for the long haul here. And sometimes I think I fool myself, or try to fool myself that I can, you know, that I'm, 100% better already, you know, it's still going to be a road, but the, the key point is self-awareness, guys, if you need to have self-awareness, and I see it sorely lacking in, in, in many people that I know, members at the gym, they, they just don't know how they come across to other people, they aren't aware of themselves when they're doing certain things for certain reasons, they're not aware of the emotional, physical connection, the mind, body, spirit, and uh, one of the members was actually telling me, the connection between if you hold back the emotions and the tears, it actually builds up toxins in your body. And so it's a very healthy outlet. Your mind affects your body, your body affects your mind, okay? And the spirit sits at the top. So self-awareness is, is one of the biggest things I think people need to work on. And, and it's really uh, forced me to become even more self-aware, you know, the ordeal that I'm in. And, and as far as all you men out there, don't be ashamed to uh, to cry once in a while, especially if you feel like you need to. I felt like I needed to, and I held it in all weekend. You know, it, it made it a tough week for me, so that's not going to happen again. Now, I did not get any video at PT this week, but what I did do is I just videotaped some uh, at the gym. I'm now down to 215 pounds, so I've lost 20 pounds since I, my injury. So I'm in a new weight class on the record board, though. So I got a, a, a new, you know, PR in that class, uh, 315 on the bench. My strength's coming back, so you guys will see that following this, and you'll also see um, me doing a, a box squat with just a bar. I talked to Louis Simmons on on Friday, and he said you got to start box squat, and that's going to give you back your range. Uh, even with just a bar, I can feel my discs acting up in my back. My, you know, I don't have any L4, L5 is going on me. So, you know, uh, you know, I have to modify that somehow. But each time, I'm gonna try to go a little deeper e each session. So you gotta stay the course, guys. Become self-aware. Read books on it. Reflect. Journal. Take time to meditate. And um, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with some some more stuff to pump you up. Okay. Peace. Going for a PR, 315. First time in a new weight class since I've been injured. What was that? I did an extra day.